Hey guys, happy Thursday, happy Thursday. I'm getting ready to eat my lunch at work. And it's just a remix. Y'all know I'm meal prep. And I got some chicken wings. I had four left from what I cooked Sunday. But these actually, you know, I just had the plain baked wings. Um, I just heated them up. I don't know if I'm going to eat all that right now. But I um, had the plain baked wings Sunday. And those there, I just put some of that buffalo sauce on them. And these are just some veggies like I had for dinner last night. I just had some more cut up. And I'm just going to eat those. And I got some Kroger Ranch here. Let me move this over some. So y'all can see it at least. So what's going on today for y'all? This is just some ranch dressing. I leave up at work. I had fought just to work. Hold on one second. Let me say my grace. Thank you, Lord, for the food I'm about to receive, for the nourishment of my body. In Christ's name, amen. So, yeah, guys. <sighs> I want to talk to y'all, right? I just got multicolored peppers, cucumbers, and celery. All right. I normally just had this stuff kind of cut up in a bowl. I didn't have any carrots or anything like that. That was all I had. And when I... I generally eat up off of it all week. With different meals. But it makes it easier to um, grab and go. I get if you kind of get a little hungry. Mm. This is my first meal of the day, by the way, y'all. It's 11.45 a.m. I stopped about three hours ago and had me some tea. Made me a cup of tea. So, just so you can get an idea of when I normally break my fast. So how are y'all doing? How's everything going with your with your eating plan? Did you get back on track after the holidays? Or did I tell y'all had a Zevia root beer drink? Or or no? Are you still trying to get yourself together? I was saying, I was on my other channel. I was talking about that. I have to have to, especially during the holiday season, you have to avoid. I haven't been over there in like three weeks because they have food over there all the time. And especially during the holiday. It's something just about every day in the break room. They have food all the time anyway. But on the holiday season, it be on 10. Is it like that at y'all job? It's all kind of baked goods, all kind of sweets. All the time. And of course, I hadn't been drinking any hot tea. But I said I was going to start making it at home. I keep tea bags in my desk anyway. But as soon as I go into the day, it's three boxes of pastries in there. I actually opened up one. Up. They did look good, but I didn't get one. And that's the beauty of intermittent fasting. You don't really be hungry. Only thing about it, that kind of stuff you don't necessarily get because you're hungry. 
it just look good you want it if you like you know stuff like that mm -hmm. sometimes I'm just like anybody else. I like stuff like that. And I know before, even if I didn't eat it right then, I would get it and save it for later, for after my lunch or whatever. But it was canned in there. And all kind of stuff. But I politely got my happy tail up out of there with my cup of tea. Came back on my desk. Is that one of the obstacles you face? Is that you um, have food at your office all the time? Or you have to go to a lot of social gatherings during this time of the year. And if you do and you own some type of healthy journey, what do you do to stave against that? Now, I want to talk to y'all briefly about saving apps and rebate apps. Because... I was looking at two of my apps in particular. And I'm just going to talk about two today. Even though I use like Ibotta and Checkout 51 too. And I have a balance in those too. But I'm going to talk about these two. Which is Fetch Rewards and Rakuten. Used to be eBay. I'll be getting a check from them. And I use my Rakuten like for eBay. I mean for Amazon stuff. But guess what? That Amazon stuff. Uh, I you get but get and if I get a gift card for Amazon with my fetch rewards, I shop through Racket. And the only reason why I'm telling you this, I'm gonna leave my links in below if you all are interested in either one. It doesn't cost you anything for either one of them, and it's rewards to you. And fetch rewards is so simple. All you do. If just upload your receipts and they give you reward points for it. And those reward points can turn into all type of gift cards. Coupon with Tony was saying she had so many that she bought a TV with all her reward money. So that's something to think about and all you do is can receipts. And my aunt was talking about that she and I and she was saying I told her I do the same thing if she see her seat on the ground now <laughs> she pick it up and if it's in the date range for me I scan it in the fetch I'm earning rewards from it it's free money for me so like I said if you don't if you you know go shopping and it's a benefit for you and Rakuten now I don't know about the other ones all you have to do is shop through their link. They have all kind of stores that they partner with. So take for example, you want to shop at Amazon, Target, Walmart, whatever. You're going to shop there anyway. Your stuff is not going to be any more expensive. If you have a coupon code when you go to checkout, you still can use it. And... You earn money back from that, right? And they send you a check like four times a year, a quarter. And that's free money to you. And y'all, y'all don't know what I do with mine. Most of the time, it's enough to buy a stock in something. I buy a stock with it. I was going to spend the money anyway, right? Wasn't going to be getting a dime back. So just to click on their link and go to the store that I was going to go to anyway. And spend the same amount of money. And then I'm, they're giving me money back. So. It's a win-win for me. And. 
I try to buy a stock. That give me a dividend. At any rate, y'all, I will um leave the links to both of those below. And I think I do get something for like you'll get something and then I'll get something just for the referral, but you know. I'm just saying it's a good benefit for you. But you signing up through my but if you even if you don't sign up through my referral link. I would suggest you use it because it's free money. You know, it's a benefit for you. It only takes a little bit of your time. And like I said, so. And if y'all use them, if you don't use those, do you use some? And which ones do you use? And when you get your rebates and stuff, what are some of the things you do with them? Like I'm saying. And I know a lot of people don't like to take time, but like I said, those are two of the simplest one to do. It take a high second. That's the only thing I don't like about a bottle. Sometimes you gotta be scanning your products and all of that, and I, you know. Don't get me wrong. I don't like a bottle, but sometimes I be done put stuff up and I gotta go back and get it and because I like getting my money back. Yeah, them wings are extra good. I wasn't sure. That was the last time minute when I said I was gonna eat three, but I'm gonna be able to eat this fourth one. Well right. why are you gonna leave one wing in here? So and that's the beauty of of meal prepping, y'all. And you meal prep for fruit things. So. You can have options. And you can do different stuff with it. It doesn't have to be the same old, same old. Like I said. I just had the plain baked wings on Sunday. And. I, um. Uh, had them with the um with the um sauce on them today the hot wing sauce on them today um, normally i would cook a tray and eat all week but i only had seven wings in the in a bag when i separate them I cooked other stuff too because I cook soup. One day. Then I cooked those burgers last night. They were fresh, but you know, like a pack. Makes like four nice, decent burgers. So I ate one last night. And I got three left, so I'll have a burger tomorrow and some soup. And I also got some chicken sausage cooked. Breakfast sausage. Like when I want to have eggs and bacon. I mean eggs or bacon or something like that. I didn't cook bacon this week. But I cooked the, the chicken sausage. And that's always like a real cool, yeah. Is anybody like me? Y'all just like buffalo sauce? I like buffalo sauce on my stuff. So, the good thing about it, only thing about it though, is you got to do it all over again the next week. So, but what I try to do now, for example, Not like meats and stuff, but I do. Like sometimes I'll stop at the barbecue place and get some brisket or a pound of brisket or a pound of smoked shoulder and I'll eat part of that. 
and put the other part up in the freezer. I got a, some smoked shoulder up in there now. And so say I don't feel like meal prepping, right? And I always do like salads and stuff like that, fresh vegetables, like I said, boiled eggs. I didn't have boiled eggs this week either. I was in pain, so I didn't feel like making any, right? But I always have several things, but say I don't feel like meal prepping this week. Just for example, say I don't. It's rare I probably won't do it two in weeks, but I got enough stuff in the freezer. I have like chili up in there. When I make the chili, I put half of it in the freezer. I didn't, that soup, I had that chicken and vegetable soup. I don't think I only have enough for one bowl, but I do have a bowl in the freezer. I have, like I said, a pork shoulder that I can always pull down and eat a couple of meals and then do like some steamed broccoli or something like that. I always do like some breakfast meats because they're easy to do in the oven. You can cook some bacon in 20 minutes. And you can come home and like do you an egg or even scramble you some eggs in the morning real quick. Two minutes. You can even do it in the microwave now. You know. And there you have it. So don't feel like you have to spend so much time in the, in the kitchen. Just think, you know, I got some of the soup now. I'm going to put probably a bowl of that up that uh, Alfredo uh, fettuccine soup. I put a bowl of that in the freezer. So I just have tried to put myself in a position to be successful, you know. And like I said, I try to eat out maybe once a week. And I'll stop somewhere and get some wings, hot wings, a salad, or I'll go to Panda Express. And what I got so now, I'll do Panda Express, especially if I know I don't have it. I might get a bowl, a plate and a bowl, so I can have, you know, well, just the end of that. So. If I get a bowl like with the steamed vegetables and I can always, you know, have that for lunch the next day. I'll have for dinner the next day if I don't do a lot of meal prep. That's what I'm saying. Just do something that's making stick to it. It's going to. I got a few vegetables left. I'll probably eat these tomorrow for lunch. <laughs> but it's going to help you kind of be successful in your journey, you know, and not be so difficult on you and everything like that. Well, y'all, that's enough of my dear dab. I'm going to get back to work because, you know, I don't really take a full lunch break. Because I come early and I like to leave early. Yes, sir. Don't, you know, earlier in the day before it get dark, I can be at home and in my house. Anyway, I want you to know you're loved. I love you. But God truly loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. And I'll see y'all later this week for something, something, another. Some of my shenanigans or, or something or another meal in the chat. Love you much. Bye.